The first time I really had a conversation with her, I could just tell that if I was in need, she would help me. She'll stop what she's doing and just focus on that. And you know, you get the feeling that it's not just you, but it's everyone that she deals with. She just truly shows that kind of, of love for people. The bar gives a Regina Rogoff Award, and the reason it does is because it's meant to, uh, for those people who do nonprofit, but really it's about protecting the underprivileged, making sure that those who have less or not as fortunate as those who get to go to law school um, uh, are protected and taken care of. Whenever one talks to Regina about People's Community Clinic, one gets the impression of a small group of really passionate people there to provide health care and improve the health of underserved people in Austin. And at the same time, I know that Regina is actually running a very large organization uh, that has uh, you know, a very large number of regulatory obligations, has financial commitments, uh, is, is you know, closely aligned with St. David's Foundation, with a number of other uh, philanthropies, all of which are wonderful organizations, but impose other uh, requirements and, and demands on Regina's time. And I'm always, I always marvel at how she can balance the two. Ten years ago, when Regina came to the clinic, the clinic was in some financial crisis. It was thinking about giving up the evening clinics. It was downsizing. And under Regina's leadership, it has exploded. She was uh, running an organization, administering an organization, at the same time being a very effective lawyer. And she focused from the very beginning on fiscal responsibility. And she was a very strong role model uh, for me in terms of how much more you could achieve if you were working uh, in the nonprofit field, if you were working for social justice and you also were doing it within a uh, fiscally responsible model. You know, it's one thing to have all those wonderful programs, but they have to be sustainable. And she has made it possible for them to be stay sustained long into the future. I think that's part of what she got from the law school, is knowing how the structures work. Social justice is something that she's looking to raise for everybody. And I think that she looks at what she can do here in Austin as something tangible and substantial, and so she gets up every morning and acts out that faith. Regina, it is an honor and a privilege to be bar president this year for a lot of different reasons, but not the least of which is to congratulate you. This award is long overdue. Um, I think she will be thrilled. I think she is so grateful for the opportunity she had to attend UT Law School so grateful for the quality of the legal education it gave her, and so grateful for how that education has allowed her to be as effective as we've all seen her be in serving the community and serving people who otherwise would have no access to healthcare justice, legal uh, services, uh, strength within the system. And I think she will be thrilled.